Nevada, where opportunity and self-determination thrive for those hardworking individuals that call this state their home. However, our trust has been betrayed by our elected representatives for too long. That is why it's time for a change, Nevada. Like so many others, I'm sick and tired of looking at Washington, D.C. and asking, what is Congress doing? The real answer is that career politicians are serving their own interests and ignoring you and me. Enough is enough. I'm Sam Peters, a United States Air Force veteran, a small business owner, a loving father, and a devoted husband. And I'm running to serve you in the United States House of Representatives. Joining us now, the man in that video, congressional candidate for Nevada's 4th District, Sam Peters. Welcome, Sam. I'm so excited to have you. Um, we just saw that video a little bit about you, but um, why don't you tell the viewers about yourself and maybe some stuff that we didn't see in that video? for having me. I do appreciate it. I am. I'm running for Congress in Nevada's 4th District. Uh, and like I said in the, in the video, there's you know, the career politicians are not representing us. And, you know, I spent 20 years in the United States military. I deployed all over the world and earned a bronze star in Afghanistan. Uh, and only to come home to watch our uh, our federal government pursuing socialism and uh, clearly open borders and all of these things. Um, I've got small I've got small children and I want them to grow up in a country uh, that, that I grew up in that was that was, uh, you know, thriving in freedom and, and possibilities and opportunities for everyone. And, and that's what uh, that's what I'm doing right now. Well, it's really exciting to see people who want to fight for America first. And I know you're specifically out of Nevada. So is there any problems that you're seeing specifically to your state that you think that you could get a hold of better than the leadership right now? Well, there's a lot of things going on. First of all, our, our state has has become uh, very liberal in its uh, in its politics and its elected officials. Uh, our fe <clears throat> excuse me, our federal delegation has been absolutely silent in uh, in protecting American liberties and the constitutional um, you know uh, freedoms that we that we enjoy as Americans. They've been silent in that as our governor has has increased shutdowns, has created an environment where we've had the the highest unemployment in the country uh, for the last 18 months. Uh, and, and we're going into uh, more mask mandates and, and, you know, there's discussion of vaccine mandates and all of these type of things. All the while, uh, the southern border is flooded, flooding with illegal immigrants, and there's no discussion on, on our elected official side to stop that. And it's just, you know, they're coming to our cities just like many cities across the country uh, and throughout Texas and, and those. So um, we need to get a handle on it. I'm willing to fight for it. And, you know, I'm asking people to vote for me for that reason. Absolutely. And, you know, you, you spoke of how we're going backwards when it comes to COVID. And I know in Nevada, you guys have Las Vegas where that strip is filled with businesses. You mentioned you yourself are a business owner. Um, during the lockdowns, were you affected personally? Yeah, we, I was. I, you know, my, my staff, we had to figure out how to how to work from home and do different things uh, to keep the business afloat. Uh, we were affected by about 25 percent revenue over the course of the uh, the 2020 year, and it's it's continued through 2021. Um, things have started to open up at this earlier this year. Uh, and like you mentioned just a moment ago, we're starting to go backwards. And, you know, myself as a small business owner, the small business owners across the state, uh, we've seen uh, the restaurant industry, which Las Vegas is is known for. Uh, it's been decimated that so many businesses have gone gone under uh, and you can see the restaurants that are just vacant still uh, and with with more mask mandates and more possible shutdowns coming uh, it, it's going to go uh, get even worse so um, and all the while this it's important to understand it's not just these shutdowns that are happening you know all of this stuff is happening at the same time the the governor here in Nevada is is touting uh, town hall meetings on how to spend 6.7 billion uh, federal dollars that's coming into our state. And that's happening across the country. Trillions of dollars being spent uh, on on nonsense. Uh, and all we need to do is open the economy and get people back to work and let, again, let Americans choose for themselves and, and live their lives in the freedoms that we enjoy. Absolutely. Well, we wish you the best on your endeavors. And where can our viewers go to learn more about you? Thank you for that. And absolutely, viewers can go to Sam Peters, the number four congress.com, Sam Peters for congress.com. Everything you need to know about me is there. And if somebody has another question, you can hit that info button and it comes right to me and I'm happy to answer. You heard it there. Thanks so much, Sam. Thank you. Real America returns in two minutes and I'll be going off about something that's been really bugging me lately.